Hey everybody, Joy here. Sunday afternoon, we did shine, we had lunch, we did the dishes, Jerry's playing in the barn, and um, I'm playing up here. <laughs> I wanted to show you what I did. We were at Walmart yesterday getting something we were out of. We went over there to have lunch and went to Walmart to get something. Don't remember what it was. Oh, I was looking for um, rubber bands and glue. Let me show you my glue. Let me find a lid. Yes, the glue. Here's the thing. Do I still have some over here? Here's the thing. My paper piecing involves glue. Now, other people's paper piecing probably doesn't involve glue. But remember, this is Joy's world here, okay? <laughs> and I've decided I'm using glue. I think I told you the other day, that I put a dab of glue on the back of the square of the paper to attach the first piece to. And the first piece comes off so easy half the time they don't even stay on. But I decided I needed a littler tip. So I went to Walmart to find that. I also wanted to find some rubber bands, but they didn't have any. They only had giant size. So I went and got the tiny glue. So we're going to talk about the tiny glue, not use the big glue. But today, um, oh, yesterday at Walmart, <laughs> I needed glue and rubber bands, and I decided to buy a box. I love these Sterilite boxes. They are so awesome. I love the lids. They come in every size you can imagine. Huge, 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 littler than this, bigger than this, thicker, taller, wider, fatter. I love these things. So I just went to my Scan and Cut and made a sign. See my sign? Sand dunes. Sand dunes. I want to put my blocks in here. I'm going to make a whole bunch of these. I have them all set up to make. This is the paper piecing part. See here the paper on the back? This is with the paper. This is without the paper. So I'm going to make a whole bunch of these and I'm going to make a whole bunch of these so I can get my sewing machine out while we're down there, if we're down there long enough. Yes, I have a sewing machine in the RV. It is my 930. So I wanted to show you that. Then I wanted to explain to you the glue. I watched a whole bunch of people do paper piecing. I watched Carol Doan. I watched a bunch of other just normal people like me who don't have a paper piecing business. Everybody does it different. I told you last time you watched me about how I got the little bitty pins and I was putting the little bitty pins through the corner on this side and through the corner on that side and then I was letting the pin stick up like this and then I was sewing from here to here pulling this pin out sewing then turning it around taking this pin out and sewing this way I'm not doing that anymore I found a better way. Now, if you if you have an issue with glue, just turn me off. You're not going to like this, but I think it's wonderful. These two pieces here have glue on them. Look at look at the perfection. Do you see the perfection? Even with the pin system, this is the glue system. Even with the pinning system, I could not get them to come out exactly perfect, and I would have to do it two three times. So. A couple days ago, I went in there and I got the glue out of my refrigerator. Why was it in your refrigerator? Because you're supposed to keep it in your refrigerator and then it won't dry out and it'll last forever. These are probably 10 years old. So I decided to try glue. Ah, uh, so. I don't know if this glue is supposed to be permanent or not permanent. I don't know. All I can tell you is you can pull it apart real easy. It washes away. It's awesome. Okay, for this process. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking a blue and I'm taking a cream. I still have the paper on. But instead of putting the pins in the paper, you sew it together like this. You sew the fat end of the angle together. Then you open it up and you have a diamond, see? So instead of sticking the pins in from point to point, Look at what I'm doing. This is working so good. I'm taking some glue. This is purple glue. 
I'm putting it on the very edge here where the quarter inch where the quarter inch in and the quarter inch from the side would be and I'm just putting a dab of glue a little tiny itty bitty that's why I want a little one roll it up so I put a little bit of glue here and I put a little bit of glue here see how little it's purple can you even see it then I take the piece that's going to go next to it and I simply come behind the camera and I show you <laughs> see the little itty bitty piece of glue I line this up like this like this and I look in here and I make sure that sorry I make sure that the goodness this is hard to do y'all I make sure that the blue and the white are next right on top of each other right right on top very hard to show you especially when there's light in my way I'm going to try to show you. <laughs> oh. Okay, can you see that? So I make it so those two are exact, exact. See the little bit of glue there? Now they have to match at the top, and they have to match at the side. They have to match here, and they have to match here. But they also have to match in here. Okay, so that's that one. If you don't do it pretty quick, it'll dry. See that piece of glue? It's already gone. Let me put a little more dab of glue over there so you can see it since it's purple. Alright, here's the other side. Purple glue. Put it together together. Flip it down. Look at it. Yes, it's perfect. Okay? So you can see the paper's lined up. The paper's lined up. I don't care if the pin goes through those points or not. <laughs> I know it's lined up because I lined it up. Now, I'm going to take it over there and I'm going to sew from this edge all the way through. I'm still going to sew through this line, but I have it matched up with the glue. There we are. We're lined up. We're glued together. I can pull that apart. It will come apart real, real easy. You watch. See, it's all lined up here. It's all very square. Yeah. So then I come over here, and I have my machine set at 1.75. They say to make a very tiny stitch. Well, that's tiny enough for my world. So let's see how it turns out since I'm doing this on the TV, or whatever you call this. Let me turn it sideways so you can't see my five or six chins. Okay, so, 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 so on the line all the way across. Let's check it. Do you think I got it perfect? How many do you think? It is so perfect. It is so perfect. I love it. Now look, if there's a little bit of glue right there, it's going to dry clear and you're not going to see it. And then I pull it apart here. I'm going to press this open. I don't know if you're supposed to press the seams open, but I do. So I pull the blue away from the cream and sew the glue that is there, which is very little. See how easy it was to pull apart? A little bit of glue there, it'll dry. It'll dry clear. And if you iron it, it won't hurt anything. It won't hurt a thing. If you iron it, it'll make it dry faster. If it gets on your iron, it comes off with water. No biggie. See? I just think that's awesome. So this is the joy, non-professional, <laughs> paper piecing method using purple skinny tube school glue from Mr. Elmer the cow. So then what you do is this at this point, now the other people don't do it at this point, but I'm not the other people. At this point, on this simple paper piecing project, I pull the paper off. And you just kind of jerk it a little bit, and it just all falls off by itself. What paper is this? This is the Carol Dome paper piecing paper, 8.5 by 11, that goes through your printer. I had 100 sheets of it. 
I bought it 100 years ago. Um, I don't know what it cost then. <laughs> I don't know what it costs now. You don't have to have this kind of paper. You know those pads they sell? I know they sell them at Walmart. Probably Dollar General and Dollar Tree and all those places. And they're pads for little kids to write on. I don't know if they're eight and a half by 11, they would need to be. But that paper is kind of yellowy and it's super cheap. You can use that paper. Look here, paper gone, matches perfect. I've got several of them here, you can see them. And I will go in there and I will just press that seam open. I think it's amazing. It's going to sew up next to this and that has a seam pressed one way or the other. But I don't think that's going to be an issue. Um, you can see here I twisted the seam so it went around like a pinwheel. Yeah. I love it. I think it's great. So, if you want to start paper piecing, you tell me what your favorite way is. Seriously, if you already are paper piecers, remember, I know the Carol Doan way. I don't like the Carol Doan way for several reasons. Number one, I didn't go, none of these have seen an iron. None of them. I press the seam open with my fingernails. I pressed it open like this with my fingernails. It has worked fine. I don't see a problem with it. This is not going to be in a quilt show. It's not going to be judged. And even if it was, I don't think anybody would ever know the difference as far as that goes. Get the paper out. Get a trash can so you quit throwing it on the floor. <laughs> Mine's raining on the floor. But now this paper will be gone and I won't have to put this whole quilt together and then sit there for days upon days pulling the paper out of it. That's just not my cup of tea. So I have a stack of blue and a stack of cream. All of the blues get sewn to all of the creams. So I'm going to get all that part done because I need over a hundred blue and a hundred cream sewn together. So I figure if I get all that done and put all of them in my box in this form, then make all of these parts, that's about all there is to the quilt, is this part and this part. Then I can go ahead and quickly sew them all together in the RV. Isn't that a fun plan? <laughs> okay, I'm all sewn already. I wanted to show you another trick I figured out. If the first thing, you've already put your two glues, but first, if you will line up this bottom corner and this bottom corner and make sure both sides are even, and then push it up and press the glue, nine times out of ten, it comes out perfect to start with. So the problem is without the glue and without the pins, the feed dogs and the needle move. They make your fabrics move off of each other. They slide them somehow. It doesn't matter how hard you hold them or anything else. But when you have the glue on those two points, it starts out right and it ends right. And every single one of these is as perfect as it can be. So now I sewed all of these at once. They've all got glue on them. So some of the glue is probably dry, right? <laughs> I just open them up, put them down. Open them up. There may be a little glue in here. Doesn't matter. It comes right apart. Now remember, put a little glue. Put a little bit of glue. <laughs> Don't put it. They're just perfect. Every one of them is just perfect. I'm telling you, I may glue all my quilts from now on. This is so exciting. I just don't know what I'm going to do. They're just perfect. 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 Every one of them. So see, now they're all open. So now I'm going to open up the seam. That's the hardest part because you got these itty bitty corners right here and that's where the glue is at. Now if you're not going to press it flat, like I'm going to do, if you're not going to press it flat, um, and I don't really need to except I don't know which way to press them. Um, maybe I could figure that out after a while when I go look at the directions. <laughs> if all else fails, look at the directions. <laughs> I have looked at the directions and I've read them all the way through and I don't think it even tells you which way to press like Edit a Sitar does. But you just want to get these little corners, the blue corner separated from the cream corner here, see? 
that's where the glue is. And so if you just pull them apart, the glue's going to dry and it's not going to be a problem. Okay, so all of these are open except for the seams. And I'm just going to go through and pull the two little triangles apart. The blue and the white are very easy. Now this one's kind of stuck, but it doesn't matter. You still can pull them apart. They come apart so easy, even if they're glued. I don't know how that glue actually holds paper. <laughs> but I guess it does. I don't know how long. See, these corners are kind of stuck, but still they come right apart. Joy, you've already said that 27 times. <laughs> I know. I'm going to end this video on how I do paper piecing. And this is how much I got done. And all of those little blue stars have been put together, paper pieced, with a little dab of glue. A little dab will do you. Remember that from a long time ago. I will put in the description box below the magazine it's in and the name of it. So you can uh, make it with me if you want to. Let me go up just a little bit closer, a little bit closer, a little bit closer, a little bit closer, so you can see how perfect those came together. So nice. Leave me a comment below. Leave me a thumbs up. It makes me so happy because it helps my it helps, and so many people keep saying, it helps my channel. Y'all have a great day. Bye for now.